No, it's, it's crazy. I'm going through this whole, as you know, like being pregnant thing, like for the very first time. And it's incredible what our, our bodies can do. Mm -hmm. And as I'm going through this and I'm seeing the changes in my own body and also, you know, your mental health too, because of the hormones, it's like, okay, the doctors, when they were talking to you, they might've had some good intentions because, a lot of the times, you know, they have to go to, let's say like a mental health thing, hormonal, because that's usually one of the things that can affect you. But it sounds like there were things that they weren't even considering or testing you for. When was it that you knew I needed to kind of go to someone that was more naturopath or a different type of doctor yeah. to assist you? Great question. Well, when I started, I didn't know that there was multiple different types of medicine. We're both Midwesterns. I come from Wisconsin. It was, you go to your primary care doctor, you go to a GI doctor, and I had done all those things. So when I was living in Florida, so after I graduated college, I moved back to Florida and my boyfriend at the time, his mom was a doctor. And so she was such a blessing to me. She helped schedule me with all different specialties. So I had colonoscopies, endoscopies, things that were tested different tests that I had that all came back normal. Mm -hmm. I was told you should be so lucky to be so healthy on paper as my mental health is going down the toilet and I have zero energy because I wasn't absorbing anything I was eating. So within a year and a half, I was very sick and my roots were in Minnesota. So I decided to move back to Minnesota and I saw my business partner at the time, I saw her gynecologist and this gynecologist had told me, I think what you need to do is go to a pain management clinic. You need to learn how to live with these symptoms. And it was in that moment that I said, absolutely not. There has to be another way. And I had read online through doing my own research, this idea of functional medicine, this term that I'd never heard before. And for anyone listening who doesn't know what that is, there is Eastern medicine and there's Western medicine. And so Western medicine is modern medicine, right? You go for acute illnesses, you go for pregnancy. And this idea of Eastern medicine is they view the body as a system. So functional medicine looks at root cause. Mm -hmm. They believe that these symptoms, these signs are really signals that something is off within the body, whether it's your digestion, inflammation, your genes, something at a core level isn't working properly. So when I saw a functional doctor, I actually saw a functional nutritionist and she had said, who I met through the podcast. This is why I say the podcast healed me or is healing me. It's still in, in the works. I had had a GI map test done and this test tests the bacteria in your gut. So I had sent my stool, put it in the entryway of my apartment building. <laughs> Anyone listening, <laughs> if you are struggling with your health or you ever have, you're like, I will do whatever. And that was the point that I was at. So I send my poop away. It comes back and I have all my answers. It had tested for parasites, for bad bacteria, all of these things that, that were eating me and robbing me of my nutrients. And so when you look at your gut health, there should be a balance of good bacteria, bad bacteria. Your gut is comprised of trillions, trillions of bacteria. And these bacteria dictate your immune system, your mental health, your metabolic health. So much of our health is housed in the gut these receptors of neurotransmitters, you've maybe heard of serotonin or dopamine. So when we're thinking of health, we really have to think about our gut. It's our second brain. The gut and the brain are connected. So through my journey, I've learned all of this. And now looking back, these doctors that had told me, I think it's probably stress that did play a huge factor in it, but no doctor really sat me down and explained to me the connection until I started working with functional medicine doctors. Yeah. It's a game changer. Um, I, one of my clients a few years back 
started going through the process of training. She was um, an ER doctor, an um, ER medicine doctor. And it was, it was so impressive to me that she was doing this because I'm like, you have this amazing career, but she wanted to learn how it was more of a system, right? And so she, you know, she would tell me about like certain things to have in general. But then when she got into the nitty gritty with the functional medicine, it blew my mind. <laughs> like there is just so many things that, and I took a gut health course because it was important to me. I always had gut issues and being a Midwesterner, we eat a lot of potatoes and cheese and, you know, we're, we're just, we just love our our meats and everything. Right. So I had to reprogram my body and essentially decide, well, what can I let go of? What can I add back into the mix? They just teach you so much more. And I really do feel like you said, the sec- it's a set, the second brain that if we started to follow our gut more overall, we would be healing our bodies at a more rapid pace. Yeah. But, yeah. Absolutely. And something really powerful that you said in there was reprogramming. Mm -hmm. So many women that I work with and that I speak to, they feel lost and they look outside of themselves to these doctors for their answers. There's a time and place for for doctors. Absolutely. But before that, I want to invite people to turn inward to think about the, the basics of wellness. And that's really what I like to work through is How's your nutrition? How's your sleep? How's your stress? And how's your movement? Because all four of these things influence our gut health, our digestion, our inflammation. And if we can work on lowering that inflammation, what that does is it allows our body to feel safe enough, to feel well enough to start healing itself. And that is so powerful. When you know this, you realize that you have agency, you have the choice to choose, is this healing me or is this hurting me? And a lot of us don't like to sit still enough to trust and to listen to our body. So we've got to go way back to the basics of how do I get my body in the right environment to heal itself? So I can listen when I'm having these signs and these symptoms to know my body best and to say, okay, maybe I'm working too much. Maybe my mind is going rampant and I need to turn inward and I need to learn how to meditate. (laughs) Yeah. All these things that within functional medicine, I learned a lot. I had a lot of tests that helped me, but 90% of the things that help me heal and quote unquote, still heal our lifestyle changes are things that I have the power over. 